hey guys we group the test cases so that we run a certain suite at a certain time isn't it for example we run sanity test on a new build and full regression suite before signing off the production build now how to accomplish the same in cypress i'm sure you know that cypress inherits mocha as the test framework and guys mocha supports grepping now grep is a command line utility for searching plain text data sets for lines that match a regular expression great let's leverage the same and have better control on what test we want to run at specific phases in our product life cycle now guys grep is not natively available in cypress but we have a plugin available to offer this functionality and the name of the plugin is cypress grep now with the help of this plugin you can filter out your test essentially via three ways number 1 based on some text in the title of your test cases and for that matter it is also applicable at the suite level then guys number 2 is based on the tags property we define in the configuration object at either test suite or at the test case level now in this video i'll show the example of test cases but the concept is applicable at test suite level 2 and last one is using invert tags you can skip running the test with specific tags using the invert option so let's get started now guys this is our plugin cypress grep let's open that in a separate tab now guys this is the usage it's very simple all right so you just add this dash dash env okay then you say grep and then you provide in some text this text would be searched into the title of your test case and test suite same ways guys we have the tags concept and for that we use grep tags all right the first thing is you have to install this plugin guys and to install it you have to use this command all right i've already done that now the next thing that we have to do is in cypress support index or js guys you have to add this line okay so let's open support index or js and add this line in there okay then we have this optional line okay that goes into plugin index or js and when you add this line you just see this extra statement when you run your test cases this is the statement that would get printed in the console okay all right so we now open index or js and in here just add that line all right okay now next comes the usage now guys these are the six different combinations that we have to understand to understand the usage of this plugin okay so the first one is wherein we are filtering our test cases based on a single keyword smoke so you say dash dash env grep equal to and then you have to provide in the text in double quotations but guys this string is already enclosed so that means you have to escape these double quotations and you use backward slash for that now the second case is when you have to filter out your test cases based on smoke and regression keywords okay then guys this is how you do it it's very simple you just have to separate those keywords with a semicolon all right then comes the concept of tags all right guys now in here you see so if you have to work with tags guys then we are talking about the second argument this configuration object which we pass to our test cases and test suites okay so we are saying hey run all the test cases which are tagged as sprint now next one is we are saying hey filter out all the test cases which are tagged by either sprint or regression then guys run all our test cases which are tagged as sprint and regression that's a difference this is or and this is and then the last one is invert okay so we are saying hey run all my test cases except those which has got the tag regression so you use this dash symbol okay and as usual you know you can also use the dash dash spec i've already covered this in my previous cypress series 
and i've also covered grepping guys in javascript mocha series i guess that's part 6 of that uh, playlist so if you want to know more about grepping please go and check that out so guys let's start executing these commands so we say the first one is smoke okay so when i run this let's look at how many test cases would get executed so in here you have smoke right then in the other file this is another smoke okay so we have two smoke test cases that's it so if i run this npm run okay now when you run this guys it is still going to go through all these files okay but it is going to execute only those suites or test cases which contains this keyword in their title okay and it is going to mark all the remaining test cases as pending so let's wait for it to be completed okay so two test cases are executed and nine are being skipped so you will find them as pending all right great all right let's look at the second command so we are saying either smoke or regression in the title okay let's do the calculation so we have smoke 1 we have regression 2 okay so there are two test cases in this file and then we have regression in here 3 and 4 5 and 6 so in total six test cases should get executed so let's execute this command so we come back to the console and say npm run like so and guys this is the extra line that is being added because of this optional statement okay this one okay okay so six test cases are being executed great so it, it's working then guys we have the tags okay so now let us look at the tags so how many test cases would be executed when i run this so there are no tags mentioned in this file but in here we have the tags mentioned and we are talking about sprint right so let us look at this so we have sprint in here and in here as well so there are only two test cases which carry this tag so let us execute this so we have test tag sprint so we say npm run right let's see so two test cases out of 11 should be executed and nine should go in the pending state okay so two are being executed and nine are in pending state great next one is sprint or regression okay so let's count so we have sprint in here regression in here and here as well so in total there are three so three test cases should get executed okay let's run this so i say npm run All right, so three are being executed and eight are in the pending state. Great. So let's look at the next one. So we have sprint and regression. So guys, there is only one test case which has got both sprint and regression tags. So only one test case should be executed. So let me copy this, and we say npm run. 
okay so one out of 11 should get executed then should be in the pending state Okay, so one is being executed, 10 are in the pending state. Great. And the last one is invert tags. So we are saying, hey, don't execute those test cases which have got this tag regression. But then this time I'm limiting it to just one file. Okay, so now if you look at this, so this one won't be executed and we are also not going to execute this. Okay. So we are going to skip these two test cases and this file has got five test cases. So three should be executed. Okay. And these two should be skipped. So let us run this. So our command is npm run and this. Okay, so we have picked just one file this time because we have mentioned that spec. Okay, so as you could see, three are passed and two are in the pending state because we skipped those test cases. All right, guys, so now with the help of this plugin, you know, we have full control over what we want to run and when. So I hope you like this. I'll see you in the next video.